Hello YouTube, this is a tutorial to show you how I've set up my resource monitoring screen. Um, I have four screens on my setup, just because I can if you may ask. Um, I had extra screens, I had an extra graphics card, so I just set it up. Um, this is quite a small little screen, but what I've done with it is enabled me to use it always um, to tell me exactly what's going on with my PC. So here I have Task Manager, and I've told it to always be on top. To do that, you just go... Um, options always on top and I've filtered it by CPU you do this just by obviously just clicking on it on the CPU tab you can filter it by memory if you need to but CPU is most important to me because I've got enough RAM to doesn't really matter or oh, same with the CPU but I mean still I can if something is chowing I can see and it'll tell me what's using the most CPU and um, here I have my resource monitor which I've told it to monitor the networking with a total bits per second in and out to tell me what is going on in terms of my internet connection and you, what's using the most internet to get this resource monitor you just open task manager which you can do by going control alt delete or control shift escape and press performance and then resource monitor and go to the network tab um, I also have here a temperature monitoring software I'll include a link in the description um, the most important thing that I'm worried about here is the core temps um, so it's telling me about my i7-950, uh, the temperatures within, within each core, and my graphics cards. Seeing that I've got two graphics cards, I'm running four screens, two on each. Um, this is, my, in my opinion, the best setup to monitor your temperature. Obviously, this is not applicable if you have only one screen, which most people do. So, um, But if you have more than one screen, I would honestly recommend trying this type of setup. I mean... It's not for everyone. I mean, it's only for people who really need it. Um, I like to know exactly what's going on within a glance. I don't have to minimize or anything from what I'm doing. I can just quickly look at it and I'll see, oh, there you go, that kernel is eating everything. And then I can go find out if what the problem is or whatever. Um, yeah, this I'll include a link for this program in the description. It's very useful. Um, it monitors more than just temperatures. It can monitor the voltages for different parts of the motherboard and... It's, it's pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment.